Shipwreck Maniacs, it is Lando here, and I am joined today with Cody O'Sell and his all new Hercules. Ooh. What's the what's the, the official de designation? We'll call this the M88A2 Hercules. We'll call it that, just between just you know, between us here and the and everybody else who the calls Brickmania it that. family. Nice family. <laughs> um, what what's uh, what's special about this? What are we? Uh, it is an armored recovery vehicle. It's incredibly special about this. It's very special. Yes. Uh, it is a beast. I saw this on our project list and was like, oh, that looks cool. And then I was like, whoa, whoa. is it big? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how many pieces, I guess, I mean, the, the kit will say, but yeah. something, something over a thousand pieces, maybe 1,200 pieces. So it's, uh, so this originated around the Vietnam era and it's a tank recovery vehicle. Mm -hmm. So it's based off of an M60 hull, although it's really not a lot the same. I found the wheel spacing to be quite a bit different. It's pretty long, um, a lot longer than the M60's right. hull is, but it, it does look similar um, to that. And I was able to brick build the wheels instead of having 3D printed sure. wheels, like we did in the last M60 we did. Um, so I stretched a tire over the two by two round plate. You mm -hmm. got the orange cone in the kit to go Ooh, along. Nice. Go so along Cody's signature thing is including yeah. an orange cone in his kits. It is. Oh. I got I got Dan on that train nice. now too. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, so there's a ton of features with this thing. Uh, it can do a lot. It can. It's supposed to be able to tow an Abrams, um, and maybe it can on tar. <laughs> okay. But you know, it probably can on dry ground. If it's if it's any sort of sloppy, it's. It's a bit of a struggle for it, I think. You're talking about in real life, right? In real life, yes. Okay. Oh yes, it can tow. It can tow a Lego Abrams. No, no problem. Just making sure here. <laughs> um, and the hoist can lift 35 tons. The so real life version, just just to be clear. It can tow 70 and hoist 35. This is more like grams that we're measuring this. Grams, one. yeah, Lego grams, Lego tons. Short, uh, short Lego tons, metric or short something. Short Lego tons, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, so this uh, armored recovery, so it's, this weighs about 70 tons itself. Um, typically is carried an M2HB on top, typically crew of three. I think its predecessor had maybe four crew members, maybe five. Um, and yeah, it's meant to repair or recover vehicles in the field. Um, light armored, I think it can withstand a 20 or 30 millimeter round? I'm not not super sure how thick the armor is, how much it can withstand, but it's it couldn't withstand a tank. Tank sure. on tank combat. So you you can't get in too thick of it with this vehicle, but it's enough to where you're protected and you can get the job done. Um, yeah. And, and do it well. There's also a new version of this, I think it's the A3 model, M88 A3, which is it might be based on an Abrams chassis. I know there's an extra road wheel. I'm not positive which chassis it's based off of, but it would illustrate that it's right. maybe an Abrams. But this has chassis. definitely seen some field use here. Yes, so. yes. Since since Vietnam, um, you can see in Operation maybe Desert Storm and Iraqi Freedom. And they're still using it. So. Yep, still yeah. using it. So we went with the tan version because uh, that's most likely what you'd see nowadays mm -hmm. in the Middle East. Absolutely. Um, so this is one of your more playable models that you've released in a long time. It is. It's the first time I've done sort of a crane. Sort of a crane. <laughs> sort of a crane. Sort of. Uh, it's a bit different. Um, There's a lot yeah, going on one here, of the I guess. Wheels, yeah. um, there's a lot, of, a lot of skirt going on there. Sure. Which you could remove as well, but in the field, modern day, you'd typically see a skirt. You wouldn't typically see it without a skirt. No. Um, there's a spade on the front that you can move the down camera. and they would actually lift the vehicle up onto that spade when lifting heavy objects, um, you know, when they're going all the way to 35 tons. They'll put that and directly underneath of the vehicle and... Uh, it's, it's not, that's not so playable in, sure. in the Lego feature just because it's just a four stud connection on the front. Right. Um, so it, it can support itself, but you probably wouldn't want to do it while trying to hoist a heavier Lego model right. with that. Um, that being said... They don't always do that. They just sometimes... Just, I think that takes a lot of the load off the suspension, isn't it? It does, because otherwise your suspension is going to get bogged down. Right. So but you still would be able to do that quite a bit. With you can do the, this. This is probably more common. Yeah. Um, but if you're lifting up a, a buffalo or something, the, 
the vehicle of Buffalo. <laughs> You'd want to put that down, which so I've seen pictures of. There's clarifying some. stuff with Brickmania. <laughs> vehicle buffalo. Not actual animal buffalo. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you could live that with buffalo. It'd be awesome. Go nuts. <laughs> so, <laughs> in transit, they would have that A-frame crane. Yes. Um, rocked back. And they have cables here to stretch out the weight, disperse the weight so it's not all right there, which is very, very common for mm -hmm. a crane. You don't usually see it without having a cable support system with that. Um, and it is quite strong. So if, if you weight down the back, that's not gonna He's break. putting some weight on that. <laughs> I'm pulling pretty hard. I was able to get to pick up the Lego M60, not without holding out holding the back, back end. Um, and it can support more than that too. So it's, as long as you're not as strong that you tie, then you're fine. <laughs> yeah, you can pick up. <laughs> you can pick up pretty much anything. You pick up more than what the vehicle weighs itself, That's which is uncharacteristic of an actual. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that in real life. You can't pick up seventy tons with it. Okay. <laughs> you pick half your weight. There we go. So something a little more. So it's modest. overbuilt compared to the real thing. It is, is what Cody's yes. saying. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I'll let you say that for me. So I don't. <laughs> so humble. I don't have to be that guy. So humble. Pat my pat my back. Um, so you can fit a full crew of three inside. Mm -hmm. You can, there we go. Ah. Um, you can also swivel the hatches and this front section also comes off. So you can see the guys, you can stick their heads out of the hatches on top. They just swivel close, which is super nice. Uh, you can see a little bit of an interior. There's space for a driver and the hoist operator and then the other guy to man the machine gun. Yep. The, the other guy being the only guy in the kit. <laughs> he's, he's super specific to super, the kit. Super um, specific. Hatches on the sides, well doors on the sides I guess, rather. And these are split. Um, I was trying to find differences between the A1 and A2 and that's one of the more obvious characteristics I found that were different is the door split. On the A1 it's just one solid door, which I mm, wanted to do just because it would make it easier um, mm. building wise, but it works just fine. Uh, extra cargo oh, on the side here. Cargo. You can get fit something small. Snacks? Small there. Snacks, yeah. Snacks. Snack hatch. That's what I, if I had this vehicle, <laughs> I'd put snacks in there. Yes. Uh, this actually I discovered, or I deduced. This is a maybe an oxyacetylene tank here on the back. For Deducing the oxyacetylene tanks. <laughs> nice. I didn't know what it was if it was part of the exhaust, but that didn't really make sense based on its location. And I, I took a guess, and I think I'm right. Actual operator. If you know, me. hey, you could leave a uh, comment <laughs> and now, then we would so know. It's, for it's sure. probably for a cutting torch. You could also maybe use it for a welder as well. Um, some spare drive wheels mounted here. Uh, that could be used for itself or the tank it's repairing. Um, spare wheel on the side, spare gas cans, one on each side. And this on the back, I'm not super duper sure what it's for. If it's just for blocking exhaust while someone's working out the back just to kind of divert it up. But there's sort of a, a weird shelf here. Hmm. So. Well, you captured it anyways, it. even if you weren't I did, I had to make it do it. I mean, it's just, it was there. I, I can't not do it. it. I just had to add one more thing. Uh, this is a towing hook sort right. of thingy-majig. So you can remove these um, gold pieces and clip it onto the tile clips here. Just turn them a little bit and, and you'll be able to tow a vehicle. I made it so you can stick a bar in between. So depending on what you're towing, you can modify to what you're towing to be a plate with bar going up at yep. 90 degrees or you know, whatever, whatever would fit in there, but a, a bar would fit. Nice. In there. That is a cool little addition. Can you add that to the front of this thing as yes, well? Yes, you can also add to the front. So that same story applies. You could lift this up and there's a couple of flat gold. Um, You've thought of everything, Cody. I tried to. Nice. <laughs> and in which case, there's also one on the side. You get a couple. So you have one on the back, one on the front, and it can just tow everything all at once. <laughs> in every direction. In every direction. <laughs> Spin around in a circle. <laughs> um, also a winch on the front, so you can hook up to your Abrams, tow it out of the mud. Those are the coolest things. Growing up, like all the Lego sets that had the winch in the front of like, there's this yellow yeah. pickup truck crossing this sketchy yes. bridge. That was a cool set. I always wanted the truck that could go on the railroad. What, Did, was that a kid? On the rails, yeah. And it had a winch I'm sure in the they front? Had a few of them. Oh, maybe. 
anyways, I just wanted that. It was cool. Just a side note. That's cool. Side note. Cool things. Uh, also, no crane would be complete without a working winch. There we go. In case you were so, wondering. In case you were wondering, you can twist this and it will go up and down. Most can you get an instant replay thing. towards the camera? The camera guy I want to see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can pull it out. Ooh. And you can hoist it up. There's a fun mechanism inside. You'll have fun building that. A few gears. So just to note how this works in the back, if the camera guy wants to show, you spin Ooh. this. And if you get to a place where you want to hold it up, you Ooh, what's going push on the arm back in on this bar and then it locks it in place. Oh. So you can really, yeah, you can hold some serious amount of weight with that. Yep. So in the instructions, it's built closed, not movable, but just for playability's sake, you take this off the back so you can actually get your fingers around it. Um, pull it out from the bar, just a little bit, like about a half a brick, and you'll be able to spin that. And you have that in, in the instructions for this as well, right? Uh, the build of it, otherwise okay. it's pretty self-explanatory okay. of how it will get it. <laughs> If not, Cody will personally show up at your house and show you how to use the, your if model. Not, if not, just, yep. <laughs> Call customer service and then... Uh, no, promising things we can't fulfill. Okay, that, full disclosure, Cody will not show up and help, so. Okay, okay, uh, figure. We have a figure that is unique to this kit uh, debuting yes. here. Um, I think my favorite part is the face, honestly. It's kind of like... That's his tongue in his, in his cheek. He's just right? his tongue in his cheek. He's just sticking his tongue into his cheek. That's exactly what that oh, is. That's so perfect. I found a perfect picture of a couple of guys working on an engine or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. That they're ripping apart. It's awesome. So, oh, it's so good. So uh, you got a guy, he's out in the field, you know, fixing tanks, decked out in this uh, camouflage, operational camouflage pattern. And yeah, it's just a nice solid crew for this kit. That's a multi-cam. It's, yeah, it's multi-cam or OCP. They're very similar. Um, they are very similar. Very similar. That's why I asked you. So, I mean, at, a, <laughs> at this scale, it's the, diff the differences are kind of negligible, so. Kind of. Kind of. That's the figure that's, that's with figure. this kit. Yep, he's got some minifig cat elements. He's got the headset and the helmet to go with that. And the color matches quite nicely with dark tan. Yeah. And he goes. He goes inside or outside if you want him to man the M2HB. You can do that as well. Neat. I think I pretty much covered a lot of it, but boy. Yeah, it's quite the kid. I mean, this is this. A lot of weird angles. Um, yeah. And you've had, and this has been, this was made amongst some other pretty huge builds. So, Cody, you've been kind of like, like knocking it out of the park with these crazy mega builds. I've so, been sleeping. So. You no, know, no, that's, that's <laughs> totally expected. Yeah, I'm totally expected. Um, thank you for not sleeping, Cody, because you're making awesome models. Oh, thanks. Um, the Hercules, designed by Cody Ocell. That's this guy. Let's segue. Uh, just Do you want to segue just to so show off how cool this coming is? Coming out, which are actually, I think, all almost sold out, if not already all sold out. But I was researching this bad boy, the Hetz, uh, and one of the first pictures I pulled up was, hey, this is on the back. What? <laughs> so even the recovery vehicles even need the to recovery be recovered. Vehicles. Yes. Oh, the guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Just caught in the cables. <laughs> I don't think that's how they probably, whatever. It's called it's Lego. It's so, <laughs> obviously, the trailer can support the weight. That trailer is pretty crazy. We'll get that into that the next episode. And he's included alternate instructions to build it into a Megazord. You can't say that. I can't say the word Megazord. I think. <laughs> uh, and that's not true. No, he I didn't. He did not. Did not. Did um, not. This is a really cool configuration, though. So it can, it can do a lot of things. Um, we'll get into this later. But there's double steering. What? Just looking forward to it. Okay. So you can, you can actually steer your When's this back of your trailer. This is the next week. This next is next week. week. So, so if you have Dylan this off first. Like, first Next week. Okay, stay tuned for this for an entire week. Keep watching YouTube, and then we'll be here. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> we, do no, we have fine. a week's worth of content? So, ah, uh, that oh, is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this is watch every episode of Brickmania TV, and we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. This is the Hets designed by. No, sorry. This is the Hets. This is the Hercules designed by Cody Osell. For more information, you can type in Brickmania.com on your computer or electronic device if you're choosing. Or speak it to your electronic device. It might pick it up. I want to know if it does, because I haven't <laughs> tried it. And you will be directed to brickmania.com where you can get more information. I said that. 
Thanks for watching. Yeah, that was nice.